Welcome for today's session. Today we are going to see the integration of Linux OS with IBM Curada. Before moving ahead, we need to know few terminologies. First is what is DSM in IBM Curada. DSM or device support module are used by IBM Curada to log and correlate the information that is gathered from the external log source such as firewall switches or routers. To guarantee that IBM Curada can accurately pass and analyze the security event data provided by those external devices, DSM are regularly updated. DSM can be manually updated or it can be updated automatically using the IBM Auto Update. What are protocols in IBM Curada? Protocols in IBM Curada provide the capability of collecting a set of data files by using a various connection option. This connection may actively accept the data or passively bring the data into IBM Curada's event pipeline. After that, relevant DSM normalize and pass the data. Some examples of protocols are JDBC, SCP, FTP, or log file. This all protocol works on pull mechanism which pull the data from the device to IBM Curada. Some examples of push protocol are syslog, HTTP receiver, and SNMP. So now we'll move ahead and see the integration. To see the integration, we need to see the DSM guide. So here is the DSM guide for integrating the Linux OS. Some important information are supported event type. So this many type of events are supported. Apart from that, any other events will land up into unknown or stored category. That means that event Curada will not able to pass. So now let us consider an example to integrate the Linux OS to send the audit logs. So here I click that and this steps open. So it is the procedure in the procedure it's showing first login to the Linux box using a root user. So here is the Linux box. I have already logged in as a root user. So second step is to install the services. So just run the command. And I have already installed it, hence it is showing nothing to do. Now we need to enable the service using these commands. Once you are done with the command, it is showing that if you are using rel 6 to rel 7.9, you need to edit this particular file. And this is again optional, but we'll do this. We'll edit using VI editor so here are the parameters which i have set already so once you are done with it we'll just save the parameters once you save this we'll go back to the dsm guide and it is showing saying that to edit the rsyslog conf file we'll use vi followed by the file name go to the last line and edit the file as per the dsm guide here we are using the IP address of target event collector followed by the port. Syslog works on port 514, hence we use the port 514 here. I will save the file, then we need to restart the services. We copy pasted. There is another command by which you can restart that is system CTL restart our syslog. To check the status, you use system CTL status followed by the service name. Now, once we have restarted the service, now we'll see if we are getting the events. So to check the events in Curada's CLI, we'll run the TCP dump command. Any host followed by the IP address of the end device and port 514. All right, we'll create an event. If you run switch user hyphen, it will switch the user. Once you have switched the user, you can see here some events are generated. So you can see the events are coming in. And now we'll go to the UI Curator. I have put the filter as the IP address of the source. Now you can see the login attempt has done. So we are getting the events. Now this log source is automatically discord. You can see by going to the log source management and see the auto discard as yes. So this means the log source is auto discovered. Again, we'll go back to the events. If you want to see the real time events, you go to the real time events. 
and now we'll just log out the user by using exit command you can see again here the event is generated and we'll go to qradar to see the events let's wait for some more time and we'll see the events coming in so the login user has attempted and we can see the user login attempt event so that means the integration has done successfully thank you for watching the video